What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Schwan. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm super excited to do your commentary today from a very fun episode of the WPT ladies cash game that I played where I effectively went on a side quest. So a few hands into this session, uh, Alex, Botez, and Nemo informed the table of a phenomenon called adoption in chess, where if a player beats another player 10 hands in a row, the losing player effectively gets adopted. So you can see, I eagerly went on this adventure to try to adopt Nemo. She's smart, super talented, a chess prodigy, a woman grandmaster, and now she's learning a completely different game. Before we get into the hands, I'd just like to give a big thank you to anyone who's ever liked and subscribed and commented on my videos. Every little bit helps. To all of you who joined my recently launched Discord, I really appreciate you guys as well. Thank you so much, and let's check out some hands. Right, WPT Ladies awesome Cash Game, 2550 American dollars. We have a very chess. respectable Ace-5 suited on the button. It's a $5,000 buy-in. Um, I think we're actually a few hands into the session, but I just learned about this adoption process. So the pressure is on. She defends her ace eight suited. The earning opportunities are far greater than in chess. Meanwhile, a couple of suited aces will square off. Oh wow. Okay, so I guess this hand kind of sets the tone for what's to come for the rest of the evening. She checks to us, we bet super small, we don't need to bet big, we have the nuts here on this texture. Um, you don't want to have a big size very often anyhow on monotone boards. She does call us once, hopefully expecting her ace high to be good some of the time. The problem is when you don't have one of those suits, it makes it kind of tough to continue. Um, if one of those suits does come off. So I probably fold in her situation. But I also did bet very small, so can't fold her. Okay, my daughter has some... Uh, my, <laughs> my pending daughter has some tricks up her sleeve. Um, she turns a gut shot and check raises me after my second barrel. Getting frisky. If she had the ace of diamonds here, um, I would kind of like this play, to be honest. Drawing to the nuts has a blocker to the straight. Obviously, we're not ever folding our nuts. We're just wondering if we should flat or raise. We end up making a raise because uh, we thought if we three bet this, we could get her whole stack in by the river. Obviously, that was a big misplay. Um, I probably should have just flatted on that turn, which I, I would have done versus most opponents. Um, but I honestly didn't think that she would be check raising that wide that she wouldn't be able to call. Another bet. Nemo with the ace five suited. So miscalculation on my part. Some understanding okay, hand number two. Uh, Nemo under the gun raises with the very pretty ace five of hearts. We are in the small blind. We call with pocket deuces. Okay. And Nemo has a really gorgeous flop for her hand. Nemo has the nut flush draw, decides not we to both see. check. I like that and she's disguising now that um, flush draw her, her check and see betting range, deuce. so she's not only checking with weak hands. Awful turn. We, of knowledge. course, hit this amazing, beautiful river, card on this turn. Nor an ace or a three. <laughs> The king comes off on the river. We're just value betting. We don't expect her to have much. She thinks her ace high is probably good here, or could be good here, which I don't even blame her for. Honestly, the hand could have gone really differently. She could have c-bet the flop. Um, we could have check-raised right then and called, so I think she played it fine. Hand number three. We're in the hijack. We have pocket aces. 
<laughs> She's jinxing herself. You can't play a game and have that sort of negative mentality. Flop. She flats the bu uh, the button here with king eight, okay. offsuit. I think it's a bit can. too weak in most situations. Um, if she really thinks I'm that wide, she can potentially three bet. Unfortunately, she's just adding one to the tally. All right, hand number four, we have another premium hand, ace king offsuit. We raise from the Group hijack. A goods for Juan Lu and Nemo dominated. Nemo's in the cutoff. She flats us again. Okay, a7 offsuit, not a very good hand. You can potentially three bet this again if you think I'm very wide. Having said that, you know, she is pretty short. Maybe she wants to keep all the trashy sevens I'm playing in the pot. Okay, so we continuation bet here. 125. There's two speeds out there. We're not too concerned. We have top pair, top kicker. Nemo, unfortunately, flops top pair, but is completely dominated. Oh, she raises us. Okay, so she clicks it on us, makes it $300. The problem is Nemo started this hand with just over 2,000 chips. We're going to 3-bet to 900. She only has 1,700 behind, which is less than a pot size bet. So the ace nine six board of course, we could have also well in front. Um, just gotten it all in on the flop. Schwann's 125 was raised to 300. She then promptly 3-betted to 900. Nemo hanging in there, but out kicked and unimproved on the turn. Shoved my hand. She thought there were enough combos of draws that I could have that she had to call with an ace. Plus, you don't really play a hand like ace seven offsuit, flop an ace, and not get it in when you're that short. Get it all in. Okay, so I do stack Nemo's first buy in, and we're on hand number four. Head towards Juan Lu, who will. <laughs> Happily accept I honestly did feel really bad. Of chips. <laughs> All right, hand number five. We're on the button. Five for offsuit. Why not? We put in a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Nemo is in the big blind. Defends her king high. Sorry, I have to root for now there's like another like side quest game like on top of her trying to win chips she has to try not to get adopted which like as a strategy i don't know if she should be like playing looser or tighter probably tighter right because you want to avoid being in pots with me <laughs> so we down bet a hundred dollars she thinks her king high is good and it absolutely is so she calls once. The problem is, when the turn's another blank, you know, I'm going to be the type of player that will barrel a lot of the time, and she, it's going to be really tough for her to keep defending against it. Nemo opens under the gun with king nine off, a little loose, but I think we're playing seven handed here, so. Not too big of a deal. Um, we flat with ace nine suited can definitely also three bet this hand. Jamie comes along in the big blind with a pair of deuces. Ace nine in front on the ace. Ace high flop. It gets checked around. On the turn, uh, we lead out with our top pair. Jamie folds, and Nemo also gets a go. It's kind of an easy one, but again, I just had it. Hand number seven, another real hand from the cutoff. King 10 offsuit. Uh, somehow we're talking about bears and what we should be doing when a bear chases you. So that's something I learned. You're supposed to zigzag when you're running because bears are too fat, so they can't really follow you. I'm going to put my backpack 
Um, okay, Nemo, three bets with ten nine suited. Lovely. <laughs> we both make a note that this is indeed the seventh hand we're we're in together. Heads up. Oh no, it looks like we both flop top pair, but I have the superior kicker. She's out of position, but she was the last pre-flop aggressor, so she leads out, bets 300. We're of course going to call. Turn is a 6, a pretty wet texture overall. Not actually ideal for the 3 better. But of course, Nemo has top pair, decides to bet again, completely fine here. Nemo, we come along. With this suited connector. Flop top pair has turned a gut shot straight draw. And an ace on the river. Okay, this this card is definitely way better for the three betters range. Ace. Should Nemo find another barrel? Before she bets, I ask her if she wants new parents or not. She does, but Entirely so pot's 2,000, she bets 400, a down bet, which which, which I'm kind of a fan of, honestly. She has lots of showdown value, you know. The ace is actually a better card for her. I can't usually get two out of line there. Unfortunately, when I call and have the better hand, I think um, it makes her so, so sad. Okay, hand number eight. Nemo opens from plus one with queen 10 offsuit. We're in the big blind. We're going to defend our suited 6 4. Nemo squaring off with her nemesis, Shuan. Might adoption be eminent? Nemo, you can do it. You've got this. Oof. Tough luck, Nemo. We're checking to the razor. Nemo, just go all in. You can go all in. <laughs> Jamie's giving advice over there. It goes checked around on the flop. We're going to lead out with our pair. Once again, we have it. Oof, she picks the six. Honestly, did I mention that some of my favorite people are at this table? It's always just so nice. When, I don't know, ladies games, they're like so much friendlier, like the banter so much better. Big fan. Hand number nine, Queen I'm on the button. Here for Queen three offsuit. On the Getting a little out of line for Getting sure, but I'm doing well in this game. What does this count as? It's, it's just a friendly. Does that mean I can't adopt her yeah. I'm definitely getting a little out of line with the Queen 3 offsuit, but it's such a friendly ladies game. I don't mind splashing around a bit. Nemo 3 bets her very lovely hand. I even ask her and, you know, basically express very genuinely that I have a trash hand. Nemo possesses one of those things that is Okay, so Nemo does not decide to see bet this board. Which I don't fault her for, because we definitely have way more sevens than she does. But once that happens, it kind of opens the gateway for us to uh, try to take this down with our queen high. You know, I'm like, I have to call 1k on this river where it's a four liner. No, 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 she's betting top two. So we end up betting on that 10. Meanwhile, she calls us, expecting her ace high to be good. Pots a thousand dollars. I know I can't win if I check this behind. The nine is usually better for our range still. Just gotta get it done. Just gotta so I'm going to fire another barrel. We've seen Nemo call with less. It's definitely yeah. a very tough call for Nemo. And I know for a fact that she's gotten a little bit of coaching coming into this session. Some of coaching. Yeah. And she lets it go. <laughs> At this point, Jamie already thinks that she's call been adopted, but it's actually but, uh, only been Hand number nine. Does that lock it up? Schwan won 10 out of 10 versus her. Or Did 9 she? out of 9? I thought that was, no, that was 9. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. They're, telling They're really making nine, me work so. for this one. Don't worry. We're 
treading on thin ice is Nemo. Is Nemo. <laughs> I will be a great parent, the 21 year old having the time of her life out there. <laughs> I would be a great parent. Um, One time. Call on that home game because Rail Heaven is going to be ridiculous. All right, so we're on oh, hand so number 10, right and, and I can't believe what happens this hand. Coming, uh, we have a premium ace king offsuit <laughs> from the hijack, but Nemo also has ace king. And she just, just decides to flat this, for whatever reason. Hey, if I were her and I wanted to shut down this adoption nonsense, I might just 3-bet, like, pretty large, just to shut that nonsense down, make it so that I can't call her with, you know, some nonsense. But either way, uh, Kelly wakes up with King Jack offsuit in the big blind, a perfectly respectable well, squeeze. You guys are all aware which she does because Kelly is a good aggressive player and uh, she's not going to hesitate to take this spot right here. So playing back at one another in Unfortunately, well. we just have the goods right here, so we so are going to 4-bet. suspect some speeding or some strangeness. Earlier, um, <laughs> Nemo, however, has a very disguised hand. Again, she can even consider 5-bet back shoving here, but she just chooses to call. <laughs> Kelly wisely folds. Nemo will square off once more with Schwan, and obviously they're blocking each other's hands. She is so adorable. Minkin would have flopped the best hand on the jack high board. Now, Nemo does have the benefit of position with the two overs in the gut I'm shot thinking about how to here. proceed. Pots 4,000. Uh, we do have a draw to the nuts. Look at Nemo. No apprehension whatsoever. In but we really chips. only have ace high. 4,100 in the middle. And Nemo is in and position. And remember, she flatted our original raise and then flatted our four bet. <laughs> so she can actually potentially have, you know, all the tens and jacks in and her range. No real world cash value to this adoption concept that we have it's really forward, hard for me to put her to be honest, I would be obsessed with on a set of hands at this point <laughs> um, right. but of course we're it, not going to fold we're drawing to an the nuts opportunity to <laughs> tangibly assert dominance <laughs> wow oh, okay so we both turn the nuts the turn. this is going to be a chop unless somebody's hand somehow finds the muck nemo's thinking gin we but check she know that Nima knows coin. she has Broadway Charts as well. She's a smart cookie. She bets three thousand, leaving herself with three thousand yeah, behind. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> In our head, we're just like, "Wow, should I rename her? <laughs> what kind of food does she like?" I decide that she's already pot committed enough, so we're gonna go all in. We don't block any of the pairs. Oh, well, certainly don't fall. Just say call. Call. Okay. All in call. Can I see you? Nemo's so excited. It's a cash game. You don't have to show. We can run it as many times as you want. I have the nuts right now. Do you want one river or two rivers? I feel so bad for her at this point. How about zero rivers? I love Ebony's energy at the table. She's the actual one being super motherly here, explaining how things are going to work. So at this point, both of our hands are still down. I already told her I have the nuts, but... <laughs> so I actually kind of felt like I got slow rolled in that situation. that certainly is the kind of river that shouldn't help anybody or create any anxieties. The paired board, however, could be interesting. <laughs> I don't think anyone expected mm -hmm. to turn over his king. Okay, take this back. Take that back. Okay. So yeah, you were, you were also on okay. <laughs> there you go. You heard it. A draw counts as a non-adoption. We split the pot, so the counter resets. And uh, my adoption papers were not approved, unfortunately. I don't know what that says about uh, my prospects of being a mother in the future, but... I'm going to keep trying. And I'm super proud of Nemo for showing up. You know, she hasn't been playing poker for that long, but um, is a trailblazer and recently just won a celebrity poker event. So I cannot wait 
to see what's to come from the next generation of uh, poker players like Alex Botez and Nemo. Thank you so much for joining me. This was especially a fun session that I played not too long ago, the WPT cash game. Uh, for more content like this, please tune in. I appreciate you guys very much. Have a good day.